day guys welcome back I'm gonna do another pearl pour for you as I said when I did my previous pearl pour with the blue background and I did a swirl and I had some white negative space that went kind of wavy this time I'm just gonna cover the whole surface with the blue and then hopefully we'll just get like pearls around the edges so a bit of a snowstorm I'm after with this particular pour so Floetrol is all I'm using with some water. So no silicone oil, nothing else, just Floetrol and water. My base, my background is going to be the white. It's equal parts of the artist loft with the Floetrol and then water to get it to be relatively thin. There's no mound. So that's what I've done with that one. Um, and then my blue here is... Liquitex Basics Prussian Blue, and that's mixed with Floetrol as well. Um, this is thicker, so you do have to add more water. And then I've got the Light Blue Permanent as well, which is that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer them in a cup. Um, then I'm going to spread my, my white over the surface, and I thought I'd do like a little jiggle pour. And then tilt so that's the plan so I'll put the paint in first because otherwise I'm gonna get white paint all over the base I haven't got much left of the Navy so hopefully it's enough I don't want to use all the blue I'd rather have more more Navy than blue just a little bit of blue really And I think that's all I don't really want to put any more blue in I want it to be more, I want it to be darker so hopefully that's enough otherwise hmm, I don't know I'd have to make up a little bit more should be all right I want to really stretch it if you have too much color it's too thick and then the pearls won't pop up from underneath so less is more with this particular technique just do that so that we can get easily to the edges. Pour that out. Um, that is, what have I got there? 100 grams of Floetrol and 100 grams of white. And then my water. So that's hopefully enough to cover this canvas. This is a 30 centimeter by 40 centimeter canvas, which is 12 by 16 inch. Let's go over the up to the edges there make sure we're covered and then I'll give it a bit of a tilt to go over the sides so that's that there let's get going my white's a bit old so it's got a few little lumpies in it Now, I don't want to lose too much of my white at this stage because I'm going to tilt the canvas um, to get the white to, to spread out. So I don't want to lose too, too much of it just yet. I'll pick some back up. <laughs> get back on there. Play with your friends. Okay, so that's pretty much covered it. Now we'll just swish it around so everything's nice and smooth. Okay, now I haven't gone totally over my edges down here. The sides aren't covered, but that's okay because I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to tilt anyway shortly. I'm just going to wipe my hands um, and that will cover the, the sides. Hopefully I've got enough colour in here. I'm just going to pinch the cup. Now you don't want to torch just yet. We want to torch later. What's that? Oh, it's just a bubble. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I'm just going to do just a straight pour, really, with a bit of a, a jiggle. bit of a jiggle there. Just turn it a little bit. 
So if you get closer to the canvas like that, you can you get more of the the kind of ribbon effect. If you're up too high, the paint just drops straight down and will kind of muddy a little bit. So try and get a little bit closer. So there's my like little cyclone, hurricane type thing happening. And then hopefully I'll tilt all this and then the pearls will come up around the outside and we'll get like a, a snowstorm look. Okay, so cross fingers. That's what I'm going for. Are you ready? Here we go. Over the edge back oh you want to go that way okay no we'll go back we'll go this way so quickly over each corner back I'll turn it now so that you can see what's going on you've got to be pretty quick with with this over back to the middle and then last corner really stretch that paint over so if you've got too much of the blue you'll have too it'll be too thick and your pearls won't pop through so you've got to make sure that you get enough off just going back to the middle and turn it around again go back to the middle so as you can see pearls are popping up already so i don't want to disrupt those ones that are there i just want to kind of center it again all right so that's all i can do i can't I mean, I can, but I don't want to do any more. Otherwise, um, there's the pearls that have popped up around here. You're going to overstretch them, like if you keep tilting, and then they'll end up like oblongs and ovals. And I like them to be nice and round and pearl shaped. Where's my torch? Oh, over here. All right, so now give it a torch. Hopefully, we'll still get some pearls up around here. Generally, the last area that you tilt, you don't get as many because, you know, this area here, it's been tilted over and then it's come all the way back again. Um, whereas this, it's tilted over and it's kind of come back a little way because I didn't want to overstretch that. So you tend not to have as many on, on the side that you did last. But hopefully we'll still get some, but it won't be as many, I don't think. Torching for bubbles, torching for pearls. Now with this technique you don't generally get a lot in the middle because the blue hasn't run over the white so much. Where on the edges there it runs over the white and kind of rubs like that with it. The white pops up underneath. In the middle it hasn't done that. It's just kind of floated over the top which is why you get your nice dark center whatever color you're using and then you get your pearls around the outside where the the paint's rubbed like that as it's gone over and then come back. If you want bigger pearls make your blue your, your pouring color a bit thinner um, and that way when the pearls pop up underneath they can stretch more and they can grow but for now I'm just gonna leave it hopefully I'll still get a few more popping up I love it oh my gosh I love it so much wowzers all right I'm gonna leave it I'm gonna come back in about 15 minutes or so there's a hair there's hair why is there always a hair I'm gonna make sure that's really clean before I take that hair out okay there we go I think I got it oh it's so pretty I'm trying to encourage more cells up this end but I don't know no so all I'm doing is burning the paint all right put that away we don't need that if we get more great if we don't it's still going to be beautiful all righty I'll put you on pause um, I think what the only thing that will happen is these ones in the middle here will grow a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I, we'll see what happens. So excited. See you soon. If I can put you on pause. See, I've got dust on my hands now from the gloves. I can't press the pause button. I'm back. Hasn't been very long. I just um, did a few things, cleaned up a little bit. But there it is. So it hasn't changed a whole heap as I didn't think it would um, because my mix, you know, is not that thin. But 
I if, if I go any thinner you won't really see the cells especially down here see how they're starting to move together um, and kind of change shapes and they get like a big block of, of color of white so that's if your mix is too thin but I think that's really pretty I like that a lot let's take you down for a close-up and I actually don't mind how it's a bit off center how we've got more white in the bottom corner there and then less in the top like you know it doesn't have to be symmetrical does it no if I can make it a bit darker I don't think so again just really glary in the studio here um, what if I turn my lights off hang on don't know if it's helped or not <laughs> turning off the lights it just changes the color hang on oh, I think it makes the white look a bit more cream when you turn the lights off but there we go look at that aren't they pretty pretty cells or um pearls whatever you want to call them i'll come around this way so you don't see the ring light really pretty and then of course i've got my hurricane or cyclone or whatever it is brewing in the center there i really like that Almost the same effect that I get with the gold. Where did I put my gold one? Mm, it's down here. Almost a similar effect to to the gold pearls. This was a ring pour. Sorry for the glare. Yeah, that was a ring pour with the the gold. But anyway. Back to this one. Um, yeah, let me know what you think if you like it. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll do some more. I might try some different colors for the, the pearls to pop up um, and some different shapes as well. Maybe something more with a little bit of negative space. All right, I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching, you guys. Appreciate all your love and support. I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.